This DVD is designed for practitioners and master practitioners as a reminder and a refresher of all the interventions that you studied at practitioner level. It's intended to take you through the steps and processes involved and will enable you to embed the learning once more. Sensory acuity. This allows you to recognise the slightest changes in someone's physiology. These act as an indicator for you that something has changed at an unconscious level, allowing you to ask another question or dig a little deeper. The key areas we look at here are breathing, both the location and the rate, lips, their colour and fullness, eyes, as in the direction they're pointing and their dilation, and the skin tone, colour and skin shine. Okay, Louise, what I want to do is ask you a couple of questions now. Um, and I'm going to ask you to do it with your eyes open to start with and then we'll run through the same set of questions with your eyes closed. This will enable people to really focus in on different parts of your physiology to notice the subtlest of changes that might occur. Okay. okay. Cool. So with your eyes open first off and just looking straight ahead okay. for me, I want you to just think about someone or something that you really, really love. Okay, that's brilliant. Thank you. Good journey here today. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Now, the same, same principle for me, please, but this time I'd like you to think about someone or something that you really, really dislike. Okay. So someone or something that you really, really dislike. And what I'd like to happen now is really be focusing for people to be focusing on your eyes whilst you've got them open and just looking at the direction that they're in, the size that they are and also any dilation. So looking straight ahead for me again, please, Louise, I'd like you to think about someone or something that you really, really love. Really, really love. That's great. Thank you very much. Nice smile. <laughs> okay, so beautiful weather, isn't it? Yes, it yeah, is. Lovely. Okay, so again, looking straight ahead, if you could think about someone or something that you really, really dislike for me, please. Really, really dislike. That's brilliant, thank you. And um, once more for the camera with your eyes open. So, you all right? Mm -hmm. Lovely, okay. I'd like you to think about someone or something that you really, really, really love. Superb, thank you. Nice place to be, obviously. Mm. Okay, and now I'd like you to think about someone or something that you really, really dislike. That's great, thank you, Louise. What I'd like to happen now, I want people to be able to focus more on um, looking at your skin colour and tone and any shine that might appear and also the location and rate of your breathing. So I'm going to ask you to do this with your eyes closed. Okay. okay. So if you'd like to close your eyes for me, please, Louise. Thank you very much. And now I'd like you to think about someone or something that you really, really love. That's brilliant, thank you. And the weather's set to last for the week, apparently. Yes. How lovely. I know. Okay, so close your eyes for me, please. And think about someone or something that you really, really dislike.
Okay, open your eyes for me, please. Right, so just going to do that one more time. Okay. okay, and I want people now to, if they haven't already, to be focusing in to see the location and the rate of your chest primarily, your breathing primarily okay. in your chest. Okay, so back to you. If you'd like to close your eyes for me, please, Louise. And I would like you to think about someone or something that you really, really love. That's brilliant, thank you very much. And now finally, oh, mm -hmm. no pause to make sure you were there, brilliant. <laughs> finally, closing your eyes, think about someone or something that you really, really dislike. Really, really dislike. That's brilliant, if you'd like to open your eyes. Three. Thank you, Louise. You should have been able to identify a number of changes in Louise's physiology, both when her eyes were open and closed. Remember, this is a key indicator to ask another question, as all body language is controlled at an unconscious level.